Hello everybody. Well, I got a little farming project going on today he's gonna share with you. Um, it's mid-April right now and my hay fields are my winter pasture. This is where I put cows and horses throughout the winter. I'm pretty fortunate I got that little bunch of horses and they really never eat hay. I can usually go from the hay fields for winter pasture to the spring summer pastures. Um, this year's a little different. I planted that grain on those pastures, so they're gonna have to eat a little bit of hay this year, but normal years, they don't eat a lot of hay. I can just rotate them from pasture to pasture and it works out real good, but what I like to do this time of year is harrow these pasture, or the, excuse me, <clears throat> I like to harrow these hay fields. Um, you know, I've got cows and horses out here, so there's cow pies and horse apples sitting out here, so I spread those out. Um, I've been told that the dust will help control the weevil. Um, I haven't sprayed for weevil several years. Probably the biggest reason is there's just not enough contractors around here to, to do it. I've, I've tried to get the local guys and they, they just can't do it. They're just too much farm ground and such a short window to spray that that they just can't get to me. I'm a pretty small operation compared to some of these others. So, you know, I've given up on it. The last three, four years, I haven't sprayed for weevil at all. They say that this drag helps that they also say that it helps if you have a field, which a field I'm in fits this, that's not very thick, that that'll almost split the alfalfa plant and, and you know, make almost one, two plants into one. I don't know if that's true or not, honestly. Uh, the field I'm in now, I planted it two years ago and it just has not done very well. I, looking back, I, I made some mistakes on it. The seed vendor told me I only needed to plant 10 pounds the acre. Uh, that's my other fields have planted 20 and you know this individual says oh you're you're way over plant you don't need that much well i think in ideal conditions that's probably true and this ground that i'm farming here crushed real bad so when i planted it it was it was midsummer planted it watered it and the ground crusted horribly and i couldn't get water on it for several weeks after that and i just don't think that late in the year it was i believe in august late august that that seed never germinated and it, it never did come because I got a lot of spots in this field that's just super thin. Um, it's coming, like I say, this will be the this will be the second full year that this field's been planted. So um, our water is so dang short this year. I thought there's no way I'm gonna try to plow. This is my big farm. It's only 40 acres, but uh, no way I'm gonna try to plow and replant on a, on a poor water year. So anyway, um, I don't know if. If everybody does that, or if, if any of this stuff I'm doing even makes sense, but uh, I'll show you the harrow that I drag. This is just an old, it's not, actually belongs to my father-in-law, but this is a, just an old drag harrow, and it, uh, it seems to do a good job spreading the manure around and stuff and kind of aerating the ground, so. Alrighty, so I'm in my 4440 tractor which is probably about a hundred horsepower more than I need, but take a small outfit, you have one tractor and it gets used for everything. So um, this is what we're doing. It's awfully boring, actually. Compared to cutting hay or baling or things like that, this is probably the most boring job there is on the tractor. And you guys can see that that hair was just kicking up some dust. You know the wives tail is that helps with the weevil. Um, so I don't know I've been doing it for the last three or four years. Uh, I don't see a lot of other people doing it. Some but, but not a ton. You know my neighbors and such so I, I don't see them doing a lot of it. But uh, I know you know, I was raised up in northern Utah and, and they do a lot of it up in that country. So I don't know if it's the right thing or not. I can usually have this done in, in about a half a day or a little bit more. So it's not a big time consumer. So I, I do it thinking just the more you put into the ground, the more you get out of it. So, anyway, we'll call that a, a day and I'll just sit here and listen to radio for the next three or four hours. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.